from the land that brought us Monty Python. Tis but a scratch. They have a queen. They have a band named Queen. Bismillah, no, we will not let you go. They taught us confident men can wear pink shirts. Yes, gentlemen in the pink shirt. And now they've brought us the Brocock. So Brocock's been around since the 90s, but they weren't always a traditional air gun manufacturer. In fact, they got started by making something called the Brocock Air Cartridge System, or BAX. These were little cartridges that you would pump up with air, put a pellet in, and basically you could turn a gun into a pellet gun. That system didn't really take off, so about 10 years ago they started making traditional air guns, and then just three years ago, they were purchased by the same company who owns Daystate. So finally, just this year, they've released a gun that finally got our attention here at Air Gun Depot, and we've decided to bring it in. It's the brand new Brocock Compato. So let me tell you why we got excited about the Compato and decided to bring it in. As you can see, its carbine length looks like a bullpup, but it's not. It's called a semi-bullpup. You can see by the action here, it's behind the trigger, but not all the way back like a traditional bullpup. The other thing that we really notice is just how quiet it is. This is actually a fully shrouded barrel, but also with an additional moderator on the end of it, so you get a really quiet gun that's gonna make it really nice for hunting. Let's look at the other features on this. The gun itself comes in at a nice carbine friendly 38 inches in length and weighs just 7.3 pounds without a scope. So this isn't just your standard synthetic stock. This is military grade synthetic, which means it's really hard and it's gonna be able to take a beating. This isn't a regulated gun, but they have technology that borrowed from their sister company called the Slingshot Hammer System. So what this system does is it eliminates valve bounds. So it mimics a regulator without you having to pay the extra cost for a full on regulator. The trigger is nice and light right out of the box. It breaks at just one pound and has a nice clean break. Each caliber comes with a 10 round magazine and this is one of the best magazines you'll find out there. It's fully made of metal, very robust, won't break down on you and they're fantastic. So there's a three stage power adjuster, though it's important to note the second stage is almost as powerful as the first stage, but the third stage drops it to about half power and you can really extend your shot count. This is a non-removable 150 cc air cylinder. Now the manometer shows it going into red at 200 bar, but we have it on good authority directly from the manufacturer that you're safe filling it up to 230 bar and that's how you're gonna get your 30 full power shots. This is an 18 inch rifled barrel and as mentioned, the barrel is actually fully shrouded and then on the front of the barrel, you have a Huggett moderator, what many consider one of the finest air gun moderators on the market today. So with the Compato being really light, we consider this a great hunting option. It is available on 177, but we really kind of look at just the 22 caliber and 25 caliber because I think that's what most people are gravitating towards. So we chrony the 22 and you're getting with your standard 18 grain GSB heavies, you get about 850 feet per second, which is gonna to translate to just under 30 foot pounds. Now the 25 caliber is gonna give you about seven more foot pounds than the 22 caliber. We're able to get just under 37 foot pounds using the JSB King Heavy Mark IIs. Full power, you're getting about 700 feet per second. And then as I mentioned earlier, if you need to extend your shot count, take it down to the third power setting and, and that takes it down to about 500. So as we mentioned before, where you have the moderator on top of the shroud, the results as you can see here is an incredibly quiet gun. That's gonna make it really nice that you don't scare away the other birds or whatever else you're hunting. No problem, they're not gonna notice that their buddy just went down next to them. So really the only question is how accurate is the Compato? So here's what we got at 50 yards in 25 caliber. So we started off with the aforementioned JSB King Heavy Mark IIs. Found that the Mark II worked just a little bit better than the standard and we got about a one inch group here. Then the JSB Exact King, probably our number one selling 25 caliber pellet. Same results, about a one inch group. So again, so far the results are good, but just not fantastic. And I think considering the price point, you're not expecting to get FX or Air Arms quality here. Next up, we tried the Barracudas and Barracuda Hunter Extreme. Just couldn't get them to work in this gun. Though in the future, I'm gonna play around with head sizes because I'm feeling like maybe we're just not pairing them up well because I know a lot of other users have had really good success with the Barracudas. I just haven't had good luck yet. I'm gonna try to see if I can shake that bad streak. Then we decided to go with something new. We're trying out the new GTO lead-free pellets from Predator. These are the 25 caliber ones that are brand new. And actually, this is one of our best groups yet. This is just three quarters inch. We're getting about 900 foot per second. So considering that there's still some weight to them, you're still getting good muzzle energy. Last up, one of the standards when it comes to hunting, the Polymag. 
and another great group at just three quarters inches. And this would actually be my recommended pellet, the Polymag, because really, if you're getting the Compato, you're not just getting it to plink in the backyard. I would expect that you want to hunt with it. And if you are doing some plinking, pick up those GTOs. Great, great, great little pellets. So look, when it comes to accuracy, not the most accurate gun you'll ever shoot. One inch groups, three quarter inch groups at 50 yards is very acceptable and certainly works out in the field for hunting if you know what you're doing. But yeah, you could pay more and get higher accuracy half inch groups, but I think it's okay. So that's one of the slight cons on it. The other thing I would say that's a little deficient, I wish it would have had a longer tube so I could get more 40, 45 full powered shots. Uh, don't really like the plasticky pick rail. It's not a big thing. And then as mentioned before, these magazines, they're expensive, so if you want to pick up extra magazines, you're going to be spending around $100 a pop, but at least they'll last you a lifetime. So overall, these English gents have put together a really nice air rifle, and there's a reason the Compato is the first gun that we brought over from Brocock. And as always at Air Gun Depot, we like to put together some nice combos, give you everything you need, and pass on some savings. What you see here is our Hawk Scope combo. We have a really nice 4 to 12 by 50 Hawk Scope. Suits it really well with the medium rings. There's a hunter combo where you get the carbon fiber tank with it. And click here if you want to look at all the combos we have, all the unique offerings. So that's it for the Brocock Compato. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. We'll make sure we answer those as quickly as possible. Make sure you subscribe. And then, hey, we'll see you next week, Airheads.